with your in-laws or has I it love, always been contentious? Right. So I love my in-laws. Like okay. it, it's, it's, they're not, uh, I, well, loving a, and getting along are two different No, we things. get along great. Like okay. I love, okay. all, I love both my brother-in-laws. I love my mother-in-law, my father-in-law. Like I get along good. so good. well with them, like really well. And they love that really me. really is like, a blessing. Yeah, like you can't imagine, like when you, if you, I couldn't imagine not liking my in-laws. Like they're my family. They they look at me like a son. It's it's really an amazing thing. Me and my, me and one of my brother-in-laws, like we vacation every year, and he, my kids adore him. And he's my wife's sister's husband. Like, but he he comes from a broken home, and he's like, your kids love me like I've never felt love before, you know. So like he he's never he comes from a broken home. He's never felt like real family like this. So um, it's like. The night's almost coming to an end, and I've had a few. And my brother-in-law is, like, talking to my daughter, my 15-year-old daughter. And he was trying to do the right thing. And he was just like, Sophia, tell me what your interests are. Like, I feel like, you know, you're getting older now. Like, I don't ask you much. I don't get to talk to you much. She's How like, well, I like that. My daughter's 15. 15. So like you just did. Oh, well, I, I missed it. Jason I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, so he starts getting into, like, uh, like, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? So now... I'm there with now. While we're there, it's my brother-in-law, my uh, both two my brother-in-laws, two my sister-in-laws, my mother-in-law, and my brother-in-law's sister and his mother. Okay, so there's like five women there. Now they all start telling my daughter that they should that she needs to really focus on a career and she really needs to you know think about what what really makes you because you can't you don't want to depend on a man and you need to be able to take care of yourself. You ain't need no man. And I'm sitting there and I'm letting it go on for a few minutes. And then I finally just snapped. I was like, can, can, can we all please just stop pumping feminism into my daughter's face? I'm like, she hears this everywhere she goes. I said, every every day she's in school, they're telling her, you need to you need a career. You need a career. You need a career. You need a career. You got to, you don't need a man. You don't need a man. Now, my point is like, I have a, I don't want my daughter to not, um, like, if she has a passion for something, I want her to nurture that passion. I want her to go and, like, you know, if she loves something. What, what was upsetting me is when, when they asked my daughter this, she said to them, she goes, well, I honestly want a family, you know? Like, that's that's what she says. And they're like, yeah, but, you, you know, and they start getting on her about, like, you can't really count on uh, a family happening. You need to be able to take care of yourself. Now, the thing is, I, I feel like when... When women go into life thinking, I don't need a man to take care of me, I think right off the bat, you're putting your marriage at a deficit. Like you're you're almost giving yourself a way out, right? And and most of the women I know who have been career women wound up divorced because they could, because they could afford it. So now while I'm kind of going off on my traditional marital views, which everybody there was annoyed with, may, everybody. May. Let me let, let me add something real quick that, that I've heard recently. They say statistically, if a woman earns more than a man, the marriage is more likely to fail than if she earns less. I would than say ninety percent ninety percent failure rate at that point. Yeah. Um so here's the thing. So now I had no idea about this, but my brother in law's sister is there. Now she went to school for eight years, learned how to do Botox, opened her own business. She's now forty two. And having her second kid and the husband stays home with the kid. I'm on a tangent at this point. And I have no idea that's their situation. And I'm going off about women that make more than their husbands. The marriage is doomed to fail. And I'm I'm fully in it. And the whole room is looking at me like I'm nuts. My, My daughter is mortified at this point. She goes, Dad, not everything's about feminism. But it is. It is. And I'm like, listen, I'm not even saying at all. I'm like, look, I want, look, if my daughter wants to go to college, I'm fine with that. If she wants to get a degree, I'm fine with that. I just want her to always keep family as the focal point. Like, if you're going to look for a career, look for a career that will work with being a mother. Like, my wife does, uh, she has like a side thing doing photography a little bit. And that kind of works with being home and raising the kids. She could edit the pictures at home, things like that. So, but if you're going and getting a career in, you know, like say she wants to, I don't know, be a fashion designer or something. Now you're putting career before family. And if you put career before family, you wind up being that 40-year-old spinster who doesn't have a family. And she's desperate at 40 years old to try and find any guy that will fill that role. And I don't want that for my daughters. 
Yeah, I mean, as the saying goes, there's a certain age that women reach when they really start kind of getting in panic mode where they will marry anyone just because they want the first person that's willing to exactly and i don't you know i know that's not politically correct to say but that's just reality more than not politically correct so 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 this winds up ending where everybody's really upset with me like but and i kind of calmed it down i'm like look i understand i have antiquated views on marriage i'm like but here's my point the world may be changing the human heart has not changed it just hasn't like the human heart has not changed and god kind of designed us in a way where the husband is supposed to be the main provider. That doesn't mean a wife can't help out if times are getting t- uh, hard out of necessity, things like that. But the whole point was you need to find a man that you can get. Like, who you marry is the most important thing you're going to do in your life. I was telling my daughter. So now this conversation ends. My daughter goes upstairs, and my sister-in-law has, like, wigs and all this stuff. My daughter comes downstairs with a blue wig on, and she goes, Dad, it's your worst nightmare. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I never lived so hard. So, so then we get in the car on the car ride home and everybody's yelling at me in the car and I'm like listen I said Sophia I'm not going to lie to you you have it. it is so incredibly difficult to be a woman right like you have this timetable that men don't have you're if you want to have a family you really have from when you're 20 to 35 to really figure that out you can't do it after that. Like you need to have this kind of settled in and figured out between 20 and 35 because it's incredibly hard to have healthy kids after that. I do not envy women. I think they have the hardest, most incredibly difficult decisions they have to make when they're young. My wife and I were fortunate. We fell in love and my wife found, you know, a husband that did take care of her and things like that. So they're throwing it in my face saying like what the craziest part about this was it was all stay at home moms. Like my my mother in law, my sisters, both my sisters in law, and my my brother in law's mother, all of them were stay at home moms, raised their kids, and every one of them were arguing for my daughter to get a career. And I'm like, you all stayed home with your children, every one of you. Would you trade that for a job to go work for somebody? I don't understand. I'm standing up for the stay at home moms, and the stay at home moms are jumping down my throat. It didn't make sense to me. Well, do you have a sense that they have any regret that they didn't have a career versus? I mean, no, when you ask them that question. I think they're conditioned at this point from hearing it so often that even like my father-in-law, right, raised his daughters and let his wife stay home and take care of the kids. He still wanted all his girls to go to college. Mm -hmm. Now, my wife went to college for art and then she came home and the first year she was home, I married her and that was it. So now my my other sister-in-law, she did the same thing. She went to a college thing. Then she wound up getting married and having kids and that was it. She never did anything with it. And his other daughter, same thing. Went to college for a few years, came home, and never. So they all went to college. He spent two hundred grand on each of their college education, and they never did anything with it. Yeah, you're talking about six hundred grand he spent on college for no reason, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, and I'm there with you in the sense that I have no issue, and I want my daughters to be educated and you know have some skills. But I either want their priority in life to be one of two things: either uh, being a wife, a good wife, and a mother as priority one, or if they go into religious life, yeah. you know, you know, doing that, all these skills and education need to be secondary to those two priorities to, to me. So look, Jason, here's the thing. A woman who goes and gets a career, right? I don't care what her career is. If it's not religious life, it's not going to get her to heaven. Right. So and that was my point on the way home. I said, look, I'm never going to lie to you girls. You have it incredibly difficult. But all I can tell you is this. Having a job in any field is is not going to get you to heaven where being a good mother and being a good wife will get you to heaven. And I want you to always have an eternal perspective because keeping family is the focal point of no matter what you do. So if you need a job because you need to make ends meet, that's fine. But you want to find a career where being a mother works with it. You don't want to put off being a mother to go and chase this career. And then you wind up empty inside because you're unfulfilled with this job that you put your whole life to the side for for this job so it's look women have it incredibly difficult way more difficult than men men can push things off a lot longer there's no time limit on when they can have children but women are not in that same position and it's a really difficult thing but i want my daughters to i mean when she said she wanted to have a family my heart melted but then oh, yeah. when i jumped to her defense she was like dad i wish you just didn't say anything and i felt bad you know 
Well, maybe not now, but I'm she'll appreciate it. It's one of those things that they appreciate later. Well, my youngest daughter jumped right to my defense on the way home. She goes, I thought daddy was right the whole time, you know? And I was like, thank you, Stella. <laughs> my wife goes, I just snorted a little sick. My wife goes, um, she goes, it's not that anything you said was wrong. It's just the way you said it. And I'm like, it sounds harsh because it's 2022. Like, it sounds harsh. But if I said this 25 years ago, it's not harsh. Like, it's really just people are so sensitive to, oh, my gosh, you don't want to offend somebody. You don't want to offend somebody. And I understand my brother-in-law's sister was there. And she's a working mom. And her husband stays home and watches the kid. I mean, to me, I and I, bla I blatantly said, I didn't know that he was doing that. And I was like, relationships where the wife is the breadwinner do not work. It's something about a man needing to be in it's something inside of us where we need to be the sole provider for our family. It, now, look, you can have a wife that works and stuff and helps out. But like if she's providing the majority of the support, there's something inside of a man that it's very difficult to deal with. I would imagine it's because it's our responsibility, right? I mean, everything yeah. in a marriage falls to us. In the end, so if if part of that is, if you're not fulfilling part of that, you're gonna feel it because you're yeah. you're literally made for it. Yeah, our role is leader, protector, provider. It's like, so I just I told my the end of it wound up being just listen to my girls like, girls, who you marry is the most important decision you'll ever make. Like both my daughters are gorgeous. I do not want them settling. And my wife told me that my my uh, older daughter, um. Because she has never had a boyfriend. And she, my wife was like, so, you know, what's going on? She goes, Mom, I don't want, like, these little boys. Like, I'm not, I'm just not interested, you know? So, because I'm not against young, uh, young falling in love because I did, right? Like, I think you should, if you, like, if she wanted to, if somebody wanted to court my daughter at 16 and it was appropriate, it would be like, okay, well, you can, you know, talk to her in the right situations and stuff like that because, I think the normal thing to do is get married at 21. Like, I don't think it's crazy to get married at 21. I got married at 22. You know, I've, I've said this before. Um, and I think it's true that part of the blame for women pushing for careers is on, on husbands and men to a certain degree, because this one guy mentioned one time, we, we go to work as men and we, a lot of times we hate it. We hate dealing with people. We hate dealing with the stupidity. We just want to go or, or be done at work and get home, right? Be with our families. What have we done so bad as men that made our wives feel like, okay, for me to be appreciated and feel like I contribute, I need to go to the workforce, a place that we already don't like. Yeah. And I think, I think part of that blame is on husbands when we fail to show the lack of appreciation and for the work that our wives do at home because their job is 24 seven. They don't get a break and it's way harder than anything we'll ever do, you know, <laughs> because I know when I'm home with six kids by myself, I feel like I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack. I mean, it's hard. Uh, and, can, I, can I, can I, can I hold you that, up there for a second? Is, is Carissa watching tonight, Jason? I'm going to push you up there a little bit because I want to tell you <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm going gonna, gonna to defend me as a father because I know when sometimes I come home and my wife's losing her mind and the kids are all over the place. The house is upside down. And then I know that there's weekends where, like, you know, she wants to go with her girlfriend and go hang out. And I had the kids when they were little and we'd wake up and daddy would make breakfast and daddy would have them all clean the table. Now, I could never do this on a regular basis. But every once in a while when I would have the kids, I had it down. It was pretty good. I would always talk, like, play with them where I think I remember, like, growing up as a kid. <laughs> I don't want to say this because my mom always watches the show. <laughs> but I remember my mom being on the phone with my aunt and me just being like, Mom, Mom, Mom. And she, shh, 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 while she was on the phone with her sister for hours. <laughs> and then 20 minutes before my dad would get home from work, she'd hang out with her sister and scramble to get the house together. And that 20 minutes before my dad got home. <laughs> Maybe. You figured I, so you're already in the doghouse, so why not? I mean, go for listen, I think women complain about a lot that the well, you know, well, just... and, and, and and I'm not like pointing fingers at you guys or anything. A lot of that's to myself, and you know, yeah, taking care of the kids, especially multiple kids, is hard work. I'm not saying that there's not enjoyable times. No, as a I'm, I believe me. I'm, I'm no, just I, I'm just joke. saying, it, even even through the enjoyment, it is still a lot of work. And so I, I think sometimes as husbands, we really do need to show our wives 
that we how, appreciate how the work they do yeah. at home.